Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. Today we are back out at the Prairie with a really, really cool rifle. This is my PTR 32. It's actually an early, early model stamped 91, but it is a 32. It's the very first 32, serial number one. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're back. So today, like I said, we are in the prairie with the PTR 32. This is a PTR 91 chambered and 762 by 39. The early models had the PTR 91 stamping, like I talked about, but they are chambered in 762 by 39. I received this one. This is serial number one. I got this from the CEO of the company at the time. He had it built. It came out just like this. And so today I wanted to talk a little bit about this rifle take it out, do a little bit of shooting with it, and show you guys a really, really cool collectible. For those of you who don't know, this is a roller lock. So in a firearm, usually you have some kind of delay system, which is going to give you timing on the firearm as to when it should open and unlock and all of that stuff based on the pressures. And the roller is a, just a different system. Instead of doing a rotating bolt lock or something like that, it's actually using a couple roller pins to block and hold that in place and that's how the whole system works it's really really cool this thing's fit with a burris two by seven it's actually a decent little scope and many people know this almost as the mp5 type of gun because this is basically the same style what's cool about these is they have a lot of interchangeable parts with the hk91 again this is the ptr 32 but this one is stamped PTR 91 because it is serial number one, the very, very earliest. As with this being a 7.62 by 39, you can see this is a very similar magazine pattern. That's because it does take some of the AK style mags. I tried to fit a Bakelite in it, it didn't work, but we're gonna be shooting, you know, kind of between the two magazines just to show you that how they work. Now, they're going to be the typical rock and lock, like you would see. Your mag release is down here. That's how you pull it out. Your safety, of course, is over on this side of the rifle and is actuated by your thumb. So, safe, fire. To charge the weapon, you're going to simply slap down on this. Now the weapon is charged and loaded. The gun's on safe and we're ready to take a few shots. So let's go out to 100 yards. A few shots here, here we go. So guys, I'd like to ask if you're enjoying the content here, please jump in the description section down below where there's a number of ways that you can help support the channel. If you're interested, head on over to prescottcalclub.com. We have a bunch of swag, hoodies, and all that stuff available. We appreciate each and every one of you. Now guys, like I said, I bought this from the CEO of the company and it's fitted with original HK furniture. Really cool. These two holes are actually for your pins to retain them because they don't retain when you take the gun down. It's got standard HK style sights an M lock or a, a pick rail up top. The lower is very, very similar to any other MP5 style gun and they are somewhat interchangeable. I'd have to do a little research. Now the guy who was the CEO of the company who sold this to me talked about this rail, which he had done and it did come off of the line this way and he had it done custom for himself. Muzzle device, fluted barrel, typical round HK sights. Very cool, and this has the, of course, you know, slap thing. So let's get this thing out, do a little bit of shooting with it. We have some targets set up at 100 yards and 300 yards. It's a little windy today, so we'll have to do some holding over, but um, yeah, I just wanted to take this rifle out, showcase it for you guys, and show you a really, really, really cool collectible. So let's go shoot. The muzzle device used on it is simply a flash hider. Nothing super special there. The recoil is really low. I like the fluted barrel. It's got a clip for um, a strap. And of course your rails here, which they must have some M-lock in here where you could mount some stuff, but they do have a pick rail down on the bottom. And again, this is how it came off the line for the CEO of the company. And this is, from what I, from what I could tell, original uh, HK furniture. So let's try to run this 
Bulgarian mag, I believe. PTR 91, PTR 32. Let's do it. Take it out to 300. All right, guys, so we're gonna let my buddy Kyle here do a little bit of shooting. Kyle, where are you from? I've been friends with Ryan for about seven years now. Um, so he invited me out here today to help me dial in my seven millimeter REM mag for hunting season coming up. Um, you know, I've been going over to his house to help him with his garden, because that's one thing that I really do enjoy. So we've been exchanging knowledge. It's really worked out well. And, uh, you know, I like to see the community develop a lot more like that. Um, recently, we've got a lot of gardening supplies from a Greener World Garden Center in Prescott. Uh, you know, so that's one thing I've been teaching Ryan is about soil and biology of the soil, uh, just to get things dialed in. So, um, you know, I'm trading guns for gardening. Guns for gardening. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just feels a lot smoother. Yeah. It's not so, vi you know, it's not so like brutal, right? Yeah. The punch, it's but. a nice gun. And that 7.62x39 is really, I'm, I'm impressed it's doing as good as it is out to 300. Yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> Guys, I'd like to ask if you enjoy the content here on the Prescott Caliber Club channel, please share our videos to your social media pages, like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell icon. That'll help keep you up to date with everything we have going on right here at the Prescott Caliber Club. One thing that I'm impressed with is we're connecting with 7.62 by 39 out to 300 yards. It's a pretty good shot. and I mean, it's not like a 22 out there. I do wonder how effective it would be as a kill shot or something, but I mean... You could shoot this thing all day long, no problem, none at all. I mean, th there's no recoil. There's that that roller lock delay just does something really cool that makes it feel different. And you could shoot this thing all day long. So I think it's awesome. It is a medium kind of power cartridge. The 308 would probably be more effective for like a long-term battle rifle or something for shit hit the fan type scenario. But if you were doing any kind of deer hunting or anything, this thing would be brutal. I mean, I, I it's almost one of those like, You'd have this, you wouldn't have to think about your gun anymore. You're, that part of hunting is done, you know? So, not with a 30 round mag, of course. <laughs> is that this happens to be one of the most accurate 7.62x39 rifles on the market. You can check out AK Operators Union video here. I thought he did a great job showing you this rifle and how accurate it is. Um, but I'm gonna do a little bit more shooting with this. Again, I'll jump between 100 and 300 yards. And we'll just take a look at what this thing looks like in action.
So guys, there you have it, the PTR32. This thing is super cool. Again, serial number one, super collectible, 762 by 39 precision rifle, roller lock. I don't know, I had a ton of fun. If you guys have any information on these that you'd like to kick in below, please let me know. I don't have anything else for you guys today, so until next time, stay safe. And as always, don't forget to keep prepping.